Hello and welcome to this special episode of Reality Check that is coming to you live from Battleground Karnataka. Now, last night and tonight we've been focusing on the two big contenders of the Karnataka elections. Last night we looked at Mr. Siddaramaiya, the Karnataka Chief Minister, and tonight it is the turn of B.S. Yadurappa, his main challenger, the BJP's Chief Ministerial Candidate. In a way, this election is a moment of reckoning for the three big stalwarts, really, of Karnataka politics. For Mr. Yadurappa, who's 75, for Mr. Siddaramaiya, who's 70, and Deve Gowda, who's 86. This could very well be the last big election of their political careers. Tonight we look at the paradox confronting Mr. Yadurappa that even as he gets ready to fight what is possibly his last election, he remains in a curious position with his parent party, the BJP. On one hand, he's very much the face of the party, he's the face of the campaign. On the other hand, the party still seems to have created an atmosphere of uncertainty around his status. How will that unfold? in these last few days of the campaign and crucially after the election is a big question that dominated Karnataka politics. We'll take a closer look at that in just a second, but here's our report on the Yediurappa paradox. B.S. Yediurappa on the campaign trail in Karnataka. Even at 75, his pace has been relentless marking up multiple rallies a day. Late last year, he travelled across Karnataka, a mammoth 80-day yatra covering all 224 constituencies. This election should have been his moment. But no matter how many the clarifications, there remains an air of uncertainty around the BJP leader's status. The entire RSS hmm. opposing Mr. Europa. They are? Yes. Then there was the denial of ticket to his son, who was all set to contest against the chief minister's son, sparking protests. Mr. Yadurappa had told us that it was his decision, not a snub by the high command. News has come that Vijendra will not be contesting no, from Varuna. No, I Baruna. told you, he is not going to contest from Varuna. Okay. He will be staying here for another 20 days. But uh, he has invested so much time in the Varuna constituency. Yes, so yes, why do right, you think? You are uh, right. Our last uh, last minute we have taken that decision. You hmm. are useful in Mysore district, Chamrajana district. Okay. So let him give time to all the constituencies. But was the decision taken by you or by the high command? You are, uh, with the permission of the high command only, we have taken decisions. But his son had a different version. State President Edirapaji received a call. Hmm and said Vijayendra should not file the nomination. Okay. And uh, father instructed me, you know, should not file the nomination. Based on that, just finished the function, just came back. That's it. I mean, okay. I never bothered to ask what is the reason or whatever it is since father himself instructed me. I just, what time was the call? Uh, father told me around uh, 11 o'clock. The denial of a ticket only intensified speculation over Mr. Yadirappa's uncertain status that he would be dropped after the elections. Now, sir, there are rumours going around that Mr. Yadiyarapa will be replaced after the election. How would you respond Madam, to such I will tell you one thing. Narendra yes. Modi ji and Amit Shah ji yes. repeatedly yes. telling, you know, as uh, made me president two years back at that time, I think entire country, the, I am the first man, they announced that chief minister, future yes. chief minister, and also president yes. of the party. From now two years, I'm going around in the state. There is no doubt about it. No, no changes. No, no changes. Not at, not at all. Not at all. His supporters point to this: that the prime minister himself flew down to address a big public rally for Mr. Yadurappa's 75th birthday. This, despite 75 being the retirement age for the BJP. But today on the campaign trail, references to Mr. Yadurappa and the prime minister's speeches are brief. He mentions him towards the end, often only once. किसान का बेटा हमारा रायता बंधु यदुरप्पा उनकी अगवानी में किसानों के लिए कर्नाटक में सरकार काम करेगी मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाता हूं यदुरप्पा की सरकार बनने के बाद पानी के सारे प्रोजेक्ट को प्राथमिकता दी जाएगी भारत सरकार भी पानी के प्रोजेक्ट को प्राथमिकता देगी 15 तारीख को यदुरप्पा जी के नेतृत्व में भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार बनेगी 
Part of the reason, of course, could be the troubled Yedurappa legacy, the corruption charges that forced him to leave office and eventually the BJP. Political pragmatism has led to a ghar wapsi, but the return to the BJP has not entirely been smooth. It hasn't helped that the Reddy brothers, who led to his and the BJP's downfall, are back as well. A decision which Mr. Yedurappa has placed on the high command. Janardhan Reddy has not asked any ticket at all. He is going to support in two or three districts. It will be helpful to us. Other important leaders, the ex-MLAs, those who are really going to win, such people will be given the ticket. But uh, unanimously we have taken that issue. But Jan it, it, once, just one second, Janardhan Reddy is campaigning for you. We have, uh, he is campaigning for BJP. In that area he is going to campaign. Okay. The BJP leader, however, is confident not just of victory, but also of his place in the power structure. So confident that he's even announced his swearing-in date. I am telling you today, on 17th or 18th, I am going to take both as chief minister both of Karnataka. Chief minister. All right, uh, so Mr. Yadurappa there saying that he is going to take oath on the 17th of May. He's already declared the date of his swearing in. Now, is that a sign of confidence? Or is that actually a sign of someone who's uncertain about exactly how things are going to unfold with him in his parent party? But remember, the Congress keeping up its attack on Mr. Yadurappa, just as the BJP is targeting the entire BJP machinery, targeting Mr. Sidramaya, the Congress machinery going after Mr. Yadurappa. In fact, even today, putting out a tweet listing the number of cases that have been filed by Mr. Yadurappa in his own effort of it cases pertaining to corruption and other cases that go back several years. But is this something that is going to be a problem for him as we move forward? Or in a sense, has he surmounted these obstacles? Because remember, there were a number of cases against him, most of which now have been written off. All right. Joining us uh, tonight on the debate, we have with us Rajiv Gowda, joining us uh, from the Congress from here in Bengaluru. Also here with me is uh, Prem Chand Paleti. He is from C4, the polling agency. He's been doing polling for the Chief Minister of Karnataka. Also joining us from Bengaluru is Arun Sham. He is an advocate. He is a political analyst with BJP affiliations. He's a BJP supporter. We also hope to have Vaibhav Agarwal, BJP leader, joining us in just a second as well. But if I can begin by asking you, uh, Mr. Arun Sham, the fact that Yadurappa has declared the date of his swearing in, how would you read that? Would you read it as a sign that here is a man who is so confident of his victory and of his status in the party that he's declared his swearing in date? Or, as his critics would like to see it, a sign that there is some uncertainty still in his mind about his exact status in the structure of power in the BJP? Well, absolutely, there is no confusion regarding his candidature. It is settled from uh, past one and a half, two years, that he will be the CM candidate, and there is no confusion yes. about that. And that that going to happen, that is the assured thing happening. <coughs> but uh, the fact, Mr. Sham, that the Congress has pointed out, and in this case correctly, that Yadurappa does have a number of charges against him. There are three cases of corruption, three cases in all, of which a group, a cluster of them pertain to corruption and then a cluster of them pertain to other charges. No, all these are allegations so only. They are in the stage of either investigation shadow. or trial, but there is no proved charge or there is no hmm. order of conviction from any court of law. Absolutely, there is no problem so far as candidature is concerned. Hmm. And uh, many of the cases are already quashed by the Honorable High Court. Okay. And uh, there is no problem as such. Okay, can I just bring in uh, Rajiv Gowda? Rajiv Gowda, there's an interesting situation here where these two main rivals, Yadurappa and Sidramaya, have one thing in common. There's a degree of uncertainty over exactly what is the nature of their relationship with their own party. They have detractors in their own party who, in some ways, 
would not be entirely unhappy with a hung scenario where then an ally like the JDS could come into play and could demand a change at the very top and then these detractors come into play. Would you agree? Uh, Vasu, there is no chance of a hung assembly. The Congress is going to win. Sidramaya is our captain. And, you know, the swearing in that will take place will be with the government with him at the head. Basically, there is no, uh, if you've seen the last hmm. five years of Karnataka politics, unlike the BJP, which had continuous infighting and changed chief ministers three times, the Congress has hmm. had a very harmonious team working together under Sidramaya's leadership. And so there is no question hmm. of there being detractors within the party. There are enough and more leaders in the party that have been groomed, but their turn will come later. And uh, right now, okay. Sidrama is the undisputed leader. There is no question of uh, anyone in the party, uh, whether at the high command level okay. or at the state level, questioning his leadership. Okay, Vaibhav Agarwal, uh, you, okay, you claim that the Congress is a happy house. Uh, others may disagree. But Vaibhav Agarwal, let me ask you this, that, uh, you know, we did notice that the Prime Minister only refers to Mr. Yadirappa just about once in his speeches, and that too right at the very end. And again, curiously, he keeps calling him a pro-farmer leader, which is not something that's really been associated <coughs> with Mr. Yadirappa. Why this very minimal reference to somebody who is effectively your chief ministerial candidate? How do we read it? Uh, so there's always another side of the coin. So one side says that you know prime minister is not referring to Yedi, uh, Yedi so that you know, uh, uh, and um, so there there is something to be read there. Now now Mr. Yedurappa is going to be the chief minister of Karnataka, and no matter what Mr. Gowda says, we will see, or, right. uh, won't we? So the idea here is that that. No, Karnataka, for the first time, him, uh, elections why, why are being fought. References to him? Why, not, yeah, exactly. why not talk him up Karnataka more? Why not go on time, sort of drumming up support for him? Absolutely. There, absolutely. There is a possibility that can be done. But the way BJP is made, BJP is always made as a cadre-based party, as a symbol-based party. BJP is not based as focused on a specific leader hmm. within the party. So yes, while Mr. B.S. Yadurappa is a chief ministerial candidate who's been duly announced, but you also see that this is the first it's time that the NDA government is in the center and Karnataka elections are taking place while the NDA government is in the center and the NDA government's entire efforts are to bring in a one India concept. That means yes. that Karnataka politics is becoming an inclusive politics. So no matter who may be the leader in Karnataka, it will be a part of India. Karnataka is not no, going to no, have another flag. Okay, that's a very so, interesting. So that, I mean, <laughs> okay, that's a very interesting spin on the idea the, uh, of how you actually project your chief ministerial candidate. Let me just bring in uh, uh, Prem Chand Paleti. I'll just come back to you in a second, Vaibhav. Prem Chand Paleti, first of all, sure, sure. C4 yes. is the standout polling agency because every other poll predicts a hung verdict. Yes. But you continue to predict a Congress majority. Uh, am, yes. I, am I right? Yeah, that's right. And your last poll which you did, you were telling yes. me, yes. you gave the Congress how much? 118 to 128. 118 to 128. Yes, You're yes. actually suggesting they're going to do better than last time. That's right. And the BJP? 63 to 73. 63 to 73. And the JDS? 29 to 36. Okay. Now, of course, the obvious question which you've been asked many times, that you are saying this because you're polling for the Chief Minister no, of Karnataka. No, I'm also... So I, clearly, I, no, 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 see, there is I'm going to be an element of no, this is my quote unquote prejudice. I, I, no, I have been polling for all parties, all political parties, not only Congress. I have been, I have done uh, uh, surveys for uh, politicians in BJP and also JDS. So it's yes. not that I'm only doing for But Congress. currently you're doing it only uh, for the yeah, Congress. Yeah, I'm also doing for him, but that's our profession. All polling agencies do for political parties and politicians. That's but right. Is, but, but you but, stand by but your numbers. Yes, in 2008 and, and 2013 also, I did for different political parties. So, okay, in uh, so your reading, in your reading, yes. with all the qualifiers that you are yes. polling for the yes. Karnataka Chief Minister, yes. what have you found about Mr. Yadurappa's 
candidature. Yes. Do you find that it has helped the BJP because the BJP obviously wanted to bring him back since he broke away almost 10-12% of the vote. Yes. Has that return helped them? Yes. So to that, some extent. That is, is very important. Bounce? See, uh, Yadropal took away 9% of vote last time. Right. So BJP's calculation was by bringing him back that entire 9% will come back to BJP did happen in 2014. Right. So, uh, will it happen yes. now? Uh, well, our survey says it won't happen. Okay. Is his, there any uh, advantage see, that they're getting? Uh, yes. See, his, his popularity doesn't cut across different castes and communities. His okay. popularity is limited primarily to Lingayats. Right. But there is no question. Many Lingayats now doubt whether he will be made chief minister, especially after his son has been denied hmm. the ticket. Hmm. Before that also, there were doubts because RSS Blue White Bio is not Yadurappa. That's Anand Kumar Hegde. They think the union minister. Uh, union minister. So what they think is they will use him for Lingayat vote, and right. once they get into power, they will. Anand Kumar Hegde. And they will is, be the chief minister. Big, uh, so that is the doubt now all over. Buzz the gossip in uh, gossip. Karnataka political circles. They are just heard, using him. Right, but we've heard, of course, the rebuttals from uh, Mr. Yadurappa, his son, and the BJP. But can I just? Uh, Put this to Arun Sham, uh, that Mr. Sham, do you buy Mr. Paletti's argument that the Yadurappa factor certainly seems to have helped the BJP to some extent because even by our own polling they're doing yes. better than last time. Yes. They're getting more seats, about 20 odd seats, but he still remains confined only to one particular community, the Lingayats. Arun Sham. No, <clears throat> there is no such question at all because he is a mass leader and he was a former chief minister and he was working as a BJP president for several time and he is a person who built up the party from the grassroots level he has grown up to the <coughs> level of CM and absolutely it is incorrect to say that he is a community based or is restricted to one community he is a mass leader and um, I, I don't agree mm. that argument that he is mm. only a Lingayat leader. That is uh, totally incorrect. Looks you like know, one thing, no, I have to say Rajiv Gowda, the rest of the where, where one thing is clear, uh, there seems to be an audio problem. Uh, is that with Weber? We'll try and fix that. Uh, one thing though, Rajiv Gowda, where the BJP appears to have an advantage, is that the chief minister has effectively been contained within his own region of Mysuru for now several days and I believe he's going to be there right till the end. Yadirappa, on the other hand has been campaigning across the state. His people tell me that at last count he's averaging about 11 rallies a day. This is for someone who's 75. Right. Rajiv Gowda. Yeah, Sidrama has also gone all over the state and he has gone all over the state multiple times and uh, in the last leg he has gone back to Mysore district. It's not just Chamandeshwari but the, uh, the larger region hmm. around Mysore and that's perfectly fine. It's a way of how you schedule your hmm. uh, campaign appearances and um, uh, you know so Mr. Yadirappa's right. um, uh, timetable seems to be such that he's not going back to Shikaripura but that's all right. It's um, different plans for different people. But I must agree that um, okay. Mr. Yadurapa's chances of becoming chief minister are very yeah. bleak we, because the party internally will uh, prop up more hotheads like Anand Kumar Hegde if they ever had a chance of coming back. And uh, anyway, these are all hypothetical questions. None of that is going to be a reality. So we can keep debating on your show. But now Mr. Yadirappa, nor Mr. Anand Kumar Hegde okay. will right. be, uh, you know, uh, will grace the Chief Okay, because you're saying, because time. you would say, of course you would say that the Congress is going to win. But if I can just get in Premchand Paleti on that, uh, as someone who's actually working closely with the Chief Minister, surely, Prem, this is a sign of weakness, that as Chief Minister, you're not traversing the state. No. You are, you are stuck in your own seat. No, so, so there's right. a doubt whether you may win your own seat and here you're projecting a, a, a sweep for the Congress. No, no, it's not correct. He has visited almost all the constituencies. Yes. See, Siddharamaya has visited almost all the constituencies of the state. And he has addressed four or five rallies every day. Hmm. So, yes, last few days he's, uh, he's spending in Mysore region, but that's not only in Chamundeshwari. 
He's now touring different parts of old Mysore. Yes, area. but that's still one region, though. That's not the whole state. Right? Yes, Here is but, Mr. Yadurappa hopping, you know, no, from no, no, valley no, to he, valley. Uh, no, no, no. Sidrama has also traveled maybe much more than what Yadurappa has traveled. He's He's so, uh, traveled uh, Hyderabad, so you're, Karnataka, you're saying Bombay, Chamundeshwari Karnataka. Chamundeshwari is is safe for the chief minister. Of course, very much safe. Both okay. the seats he will win with a big margin. You will uh, you will know on 15th. Okay. Uh, remember, you're a pollster, so yes. your words have So my credibility is at then, stake. Then, yes. Then, yes. Then, I, I'm then there. I'm I'm there, I'm there in your studio on 15th. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, Weber Bagarwal, you know this this question haunting Mr. Yadurappa's status. The fact that the Congress is once again reminded voters that he still faces charges. His official election affidavit still lists three charges still pending against him. Is all this now becoming a bit of a dilemma for the BJP? You need him, but at the same time, there's a level of discomfort there. And that's something that's playing out in the Shinivas, campaign to yeah. the very end. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I see where you're coming from. And I know Karnataka is your home state, and uh, but you know what? Let me bring this forth, and let me show, uh, let me share my side of the flip, uh, my, my side of the uh, bargain here. Now, it is this this election is not going to be about Rahul. This election is not going to be about Siddha Rupaya. This election is not going to be about about uh, Yedi, Reddy, or anyone else. This election is going to be about inclusive poli mm. uh, politics, and I'll tell you why. In politics, all all the all the all most of the member of parliament or MLAs, everyone has. It, it will be about inclusive politics, and you will see that. And I'll tell you why. A lot of those inclusive MPs and MLAs, politics. Pan India, file okay. their affidavits inclusive, inclusive. So so a lot of those MPs and MLAs file file affidavits with a lot of lot lot of holes in them already. I mean, when when Rahul Gandhi will go for poll next year right. in in his uh, in Raibareli or when Sonia ji goes to poll, they will file an affidavit with holes in it. So you know, but where this election will be a turning point, I'll no, tell you. I, if I, you look at the way Weber, the ground is built up, yeah. But Weber, no, no, but hold on, Weber. Yes, when you keep saying inclusive politics. You keep making it seem as if the BJP right. has never come to power in Karnataka before they have. They came to power in 2008. There was a BJP government here. And right. things didn't go right. very but well. But center, we were not. So this time, the politics is different. And, and let's get. Let's get center, we were not. So, so this is not. There's nothing. I mean, the, what has dramatically changed? Yes, the center, you were not. But the, the, the party has no, been in power. Center, Arusha, we were not. Of last course. Word from you. When we, is of, that absolutely. The paradox of yeah. Yadurappa. Okay. All right, fine. Uh, Arun Chan, last word when we are out of time. Is this the Yadurappa paradox? That on one hand, he is somebody who brings the base of a mass leader, but he also reminds voters of a government and of a legacy, particularly with him and the Reddies, that did not go down well with the people of Karnataka. Now, the thing is now, the. Prime Minister and Amit Shah, they are doing rallies and creating trust and confidence in, in the minds of the people and they are gaining popularity and they are bring, bringing ah. back the BJP into right. really to the power. That makes the difference. The rallies and the assurance, the uh, all the okay. uh, programs and the new policies of the central government, it is now reaching to the people. Okay, so and that's an interesting... Okay, really we're out of time. Accepting Absolutely. The, yeah. Okay, that's absolutely. Okay, we're out of time. But I, I, I see your point. That's an interesting yeah. admission in right. a sense about what yeah. everyone's been saying that this has become right. an election for the BJP and about Vasan, Prime see Minister Modi that the and Amit Shah. In a sense, that is there more in than will will be We're out of time, Weber. Yeah. Okay, all right, Weber. We're out of time. Thank you all so yeah. much for joining us, Weber Agarwal, Arun Sham, Rajiv Gorda, and of course Premchand Paleti. That's it on Reality Check. Thanks for watching. Good night.